Hey guys, this is Sean. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at rebuilding the uh, Kanger EVOD coil head. Um, if you've seen my last video about the uh, the Kanger T3s, I really love the bottom coil design uh, because it doesn't really produce as many dry hits, if if any, if you do it right, um, as some of the top coil designs. Uh, I used to swear by it, this EVOD is amazing. <laughs> if you haven't tried one and you like the T3, you will love the EVOD. Um, so yeah, today we're going to get into rebuilding the uh, the coil on these uh, EVODs, and let's go ahead and get started. Um, you might recognize these from the previous video. These are cone, uh, cone-shaped cone needle-nose pliers. They really help for uh, getting uh, the grommet, or the rubber grommet, off without uh, damaging it. Um, they're also really good for reinserting it without damaging it with help from the rounded ends. Uh, of course, if you don't have a set of those, then a traditional pair of needle-nose pliers will get the job done. All right, we also have some wire cutters to uh, to trim up the wick as well as the uh, the coil once we're done later. Today I'm going to be using some 32 gauge uh, Canthal A1 round uh, wire. Um, I have this on my eBay store uh, as well as Amazon uh, as well as the uh, the one millimeter silica wick and the two millimeter silica wick that we're going to be using today. Um, so yeah, check out the the links in the, uh, in the description for that. Best prices around. Hey. <laughs> we'll be using the uh, resistance meter that I got from uh, MadVapes.com for about 20 bucks. This thing rocks. If you don't have one, get one. Um, and then we have the uh, the Ego battery to atomizer adapter. So that's that's kind of essential. It does not come stock with one of those. Okay, so let's get into tearing apart this uh, this Evod coil head. Um, for a lot of this procedure you're gonna find it a lot easier to uh, have it attached to the uh, to the base of the uh, of the coil head while we're working so I'm gonna take the one that I am currently using off of here now we're just gonna set that off to the side for the meantime so we have the base and we have the old head that we'd like to uh, rebuild Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take a look at the bottom. Use our cone shaped pliers, put one end of the plier in the center of that pin, the other end of the plier on the, on the outer edge of the pin, whoops, and gently pull out. So we've removed the plug, do the same thing with the uh, rubber grommet on the inside, like so. Okay. Lastly, let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, this metal stem. Uh, it takes a little bit of force, a little bit more than the T3, but uh, it will come off. You just kind of wiggle back and forth a little bit. Okay. Let's get rid of our old flavor wick and our old coiled wick. This one is in there pretty good. You can pull from the top or the bottom, whichever makes the uh, the coiled wick come out easier. All right. So I didn't start with a clean one. So we'll take just a moment here to kind of dry off the uh, the components that we're going to be using. I'll take this time to mention that with the Kanger T3, uh, it was not really always necessary to perform a dry burn uh, before vaping these. Uh, with the EVOD, I really couldn't get away uh, with not dry burning. Um, what that entails, well, I'll run over it uh, later, but basically uh, you burn the coil glowing red hot while blowing on it for, uh, for a couple seconds at a time, just to basically burn off any, any, anything that might be on the wick or anything that might be on the, uh, on the coil, and then you soak them in, uh, in water for a few hours, very hot water, um, possibly you know, overnight if you want to. And then uh, once it's soaked and then completely dried, it will taste much better. Alright, so we'll go over that in just a, just a little bit. In the meantime, Let's take a look at our unit, and uh, I'm going to grab my handy trusty little pin to help stabilize the wick that we're about to use. Actually, before I do that, it'd be nice to have some coil to work with. 
So I'm going to pull out just a few inches of that. If you haven't noticed, these spools <laughs> are also very good at holding your heads while you're working with them. Alright. So let's get our wick lined up. I will focus this as much as I can for you folks. There we are. Now I noticed in the stock design a lot of folks will do, uh, or, or rather the, the stock from the factory, will wrap the wire around uh, three times on the left and three times on the right. I'll show you what I mean here in just a moment. So when we're done, it should look something like that. I'll do my best to focus it for you. There, that, that, that's a pretty clear picture of what we've got going on. So now I want to remove the pin. I squeeze on either end, kind of twist so as to uh, get rid of that space that was created by that pin. And take a moment to straighten the ends of the coil out. Okay, and uh, you know the reason I do this, it, it makes enough sense to me. Um, it's to eliminate the uh, possibility for hot spots, which is like coil that, that, that that's uh, like like two, uh, two wraps of the coil that are too close to each other. They'll just burn each other and you're going to get a really nasty taste in your mouth. Um, furthermore, you want the coil not too tight because then the wick won't absorb as much liquid as quickly. It won't get what it needs and you're just going to be smoking coil, which tastes nasty. Um, you also don't want it too loose because you'll be smoking coil and you know that's pretty much the moral of the story do not smoke coil it tastes gross okay so now we can insert this into our coil head like so okay what I like to do is I like to stuff that stem right back in the top just for the meantime so as to uh, kind of hold that hold that wick in place. Okay, for this part, we're going to remove the base. So we kind of got want to get in there, down and dirty. Um, so the Kanger T3 tutorial, uh, the way that uh, I, I said worked for me the best to uh, to mount uh, these these coils um, was kind of a a clothespin wire method uh, where, where they kind of crisscross and that created the least distance from the coil leaving the wick connecting to the base. Uh, with the EVODs it's a little bit different. Instead of them instead of them crisscrossing they're, they're, they're just going to come straight out from the coil uh, to, to the closest edge of the uh, of the coil head. So in this instance uh, the, the, the left wire is coming off of the coil like this. So I'm going to use him as the outer edge ground coil. I'm also going to peek my needle in there because I know it's a little potential hot spot where two, coil, or, uh, two, uh, two wraps of the coil are just a little bit too close together for my liking. There, we got, got him spaced out a little bit. Okay, let's put our rubber grommet back on. This part can be a little bit tricky, especially if the uh, the piece of rubber is dry. You want to run that wire straight down the center of the grommet and insert him like so. Okay, there he is, nice and snug take our coil and bend it in the opposite direction as we did the previous uh, the previous end. Get down nice and snug. Okay. And then lastly we're going to uh, reinsert the pin. Give 
give a small tug on each end of the wire just to make sure that it's in there nice and snug. Don't want that don't want that wick running away from us. Now I'll take a moment to uh, trim up the ends. Removing the uh, excess coil from the unit, do this as close to the rubber grommet as possible uh, so as to eliminate any any possible short uh, shorting of the battery. Okay, now we want to pop our, our stem off to add our uh, flavor wicks. Before I do that, I will show you a dry burn procedure as you have to do with these. So I'm going to pull that off, and this exposes our coil in the center. Use a needle to kind of get these uh, these wraps away from that outer edge. All right, that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so from here I'm going to trim off the excess wick, which we do not need anymore. And now for the dry burn, I highly recommend this. I've not been able to really get away without uh, having to do this. If you have a variable voltage battery, crank the voltage up. If not, then uh, you may have to hold the battery just a little bit longer. Um, what we want to do is we want to press this button. We want to press the battery button until the coils glow orange. Uh, blow on them while you're holding that button down so you don't want to pop your coil. Uh, you just went through all that work. But um, let them glow orange for a few seconds while blowing on them. Uh, and you want to do that maybe about five, six, seven, eight times or until the, just the, the nasty kind of burn smell goes away. I promise it will. Yep, that uh, doesn't smell like anything's burning, so that is good. Gotten rid of that taste, that smell. Okay, so lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to add on our flavor wicks. Uh, if you've seen my T3 video, you know that the flavor wick is pretty, pretty essential. Um, what it does is it... Uh, stops the popping uh, hot near boiling liquid from, from popping into your mouth and, uh, and really without them you wouldn't taste uh, what, regardless of what flavor you have and you really wouldn't taste it very much um, I've tried it tastes like you're vaping air not very pleasant Whoops. Insert that stem. That can require a little bit of force, but I think we're in good shape. And lastly, let's trim off the excess of the flavor wick. And that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so I did six wraps of 32 gauge canthal. That should give us somewhere around uh, two ohms of resistance, somewhere between two and 2.2. Let's check it out. That gives us 2.1 ohms, perfect. Okay, so the last step really is to uh, take off the head itself, soak it in some uh, hot water for, for a few hours. Um, some people like to do it overnight. I don't find it necessary to do all that. Um, but a few hours, I'm going to dry for a few hours, and you're good to go. Happy vaping. All right, so guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, check the, uh, the description for uh, the canthal as well as the wick uh, if you need some. Um, that's about that. You guys have a good day.